Please make sure you have your copy of the assignment analysis of Pixie Sticks Candy, Part 1. What we're going to do in this experiment is try to find out how much citric acid, or the sour flavor ingredient, there is in each different color or flavor of Pixie Stick Candy. Now to do that, we're going to use a chemical reaction. The chemical reaction is between baking soda and citric acid, which are ingredients found in antacid tablets. When you plop one of those antacid tablets in water, it starts to fizz as this reaction produces carbon dioxide. The more citric acid there is in the reaction, the more carbon dioxide is produced. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use known amounts of citric acid. Each one of the tablets contains one gram of citric acid. So if we use one tablet, or two tablets, or three, or four tablets, and then we measure how much fizz is made in the reaction, and plot that relationship, we can use that to figure out how much citric acid there is in the Pixie Sticks. If we take the Pixie Sticks candy and react them with baking soda, they'll make some fizz. However much fizz they make in the reaction, we can know by measuring it, and then we can go over to the plotted relationship and find out how much citric acid there had to have been in the Pixie Sticks to make the amount of fizz that we measured. So that's our overall strategy. It's called comparison to a standard curve. A standard is something that you know, and what we know is how much citric acid is in each of these reactions. We don't know how much citric acid is in the pixie sticks, but if we know how much fizz they make, we can use the plotted relationship to find out how much citric acid it took to make the amount of fizz that we measured. So let me show you the procedures. Okay, so on the back of today's assignment are the procedures listed, and you'll also find at your lab bench a diagram that shows those steps. What each person in your group can do is choose how many Alka-Seltzer tablets you're going to work with. Work in a group of four students. Each student can choose one, two, three, or four tablets to use. And what you'll do is you'll take some water and measure 50 milliliters of the water using a graduated cylinder and put that into a cup. Each person will need their own cup with their own 50 milliliters of water. And then take your cup and however many tablets you're using, let's say I'm doing three tablets, I'll put those all in the balance together, and then I'm going to record in the data table the starting mass of those materials. After I've measured this, then I can take them and put them in the water and let the fizz reaction go. We're going to swirl this until all of the bubbles are completely gone. There should be zero bubbles left in the cup. Any bubbles that you see, you can tap or you can swirl until they're all gone because what we're trying to measure is the fizz that's going away and if it doesn't all go away then we can't measure it. So make sure that it all is fizzed away until when all the bubbles are gone and you don't see any more bubbles then you can put it back on the balance and re-weigh it to find out what the ending mass is how much fizz went away and record that. Make sure to share all of the data with all of the partners in the group so that you can plot the results in the next step.